Hi. Um, today I want to go over the uh, side effects I had with the second chemo, which uh, if there's a plus side to chemo, it's that the second one wasn't as bad. Um, I also figured out that the, the hives, the itching I had on my neck was a result of the injections that I had to take after, you know, starting on day three of the chemo, um, because that is when they start the night after I take the first injection. And so after both the first chemo and the second chemo, um, so my doctor is going to try and find an alternative to that particular medication. Um, I hope so because I was scratching my neck raw, just, you know, trying not to scratch it, but you know how you do anyway when you have something like that going on. Just, and I still have kind of some scabs that from when I was scratching. So, all right, so the second chemo, um, I had a little bit of nausea on the way home. Um, it wasn't bad, it was just like a, um, like my stomach turned over and then it was gone. Um, so I don't know, you know, it just kind of happened and then it was gone and that was it. Um, my throat started feeling scratchy that night, um, sort of like it was, like I was coming down with something when you first start getting the flu or tonsillitis or something and your throat does that close, closing up scratchy feeling. It was just like that. Um, Thursday was fine, or you know, the second day was fine. Friday I started the injections, Zarxio, however you pronounce it. And then um, that night is when I started getting the itch. It happened during the night. I woke up in the middle of the night scratching at my neck. Um, so day three started the injections. At one point I was at a meeting at work. We had to do one of these sharing circle things. You know, it was end of year meeting and we're doing the Christmas thing and we had to all get in a circle and stand around the edge of the around the edge of the room. And after a few minutes, I started getting tunnel vision. Everything was going black and spotty, and I just had to sit down because I was going to fall if I didn't. And so um, that was a bit strange. And whether that was from the chemo or if it was because I hadn't hydrated enough or because I hadn't eaten, I'm not sure. You know, it's kind of, it's probably all connected to the chemo somehow, but I don't know the exact cause. It's the only time it happened. So um, it, it's not like there's really a direct cor correlation. I, I'm sure it's there, but I don't know. Um, I. By about noon, I would, well, actually just after that, which was probably around 10, 10.30 in the morning, I started just feeling kind of tired and worn out, like it had just been a really long day and I just wanted to go home and veg on the sofa, and, but I still had so much to do. <laughs> um, and so... Um, Luckily for us, it was a half day because it was the Friday before Christmas. So after this meeting, I got to leave work. I ran the errands I had to do. Um, I got home about three o'clock and I was able to, I, I think I just about made it. Um, at that point, I was like, I'm home, I'm not moving. I, you know, I'm sitting down and this is it. Um, but at the same time, I didn't get that I've been hit by a truck feeling. It was just kind of tired and, you know, this is the longest day of my life kind of feeling. Um, so Saturday, then I woke up during the night with the itching. 
And so Saturday, again, I was really tired and worn out feeling, but I never got that achy, oh my God, I can't move and stayed in bed all day. I, you know, I got up and I wasn't moving a lot, but you know, I, I walked around the apartment and did a few things and um, my head hurt. It was just like pounding, like not a migraine, more like sinus or something like upper sinus um, not down here but just up here it was just like throbbing pounding um, I ended up taking a sumatriptan and that helped it um, my lips started drying out again I had just started getting them back to where they were normal normal for me they're always dried out for me but they were coming back around and then all of a sudden they're just dried out flaky peeling again um sunday my head was aching again um i was still feeling tired and worn out just kind of run down um the neck was still really itching and i noticed at one point when i swallowed some water it wasn't necessarily cold water it wasn't room temperature but it wasn't ice cold but my teeth hurt um, when I swallowed it and so that was something new um, so that was day five on day six I had to go back to work the itching was getting worse my lips were getting worse <laughs> um, that's when I called my doctor and said I cannot take this itching anymore there has to be something else and um, so she stopped the injections for me, so hallelujah. Um, day seven, day eight, then the taste thing, it's just kind of gone. Um, nothing tastes right, if it tastes at all. Some things I just don't taste. Other things just don't taste right. Um, it's sad. <laughs> You look at something and you think, oh, it's going to be so good, and then you taste it and nothing. So, yeah. Sometimes you just don't even want to eat because it's like, why bother? It's, there's no flavor. <laughs> so, um, but then my tongue got really fuzzy feeling like a cat, and, you know, it's just like I could feel all of the taste buds and um, it was like there was fur on it and it was really thick and um, that was like by day nine that was starting to happen and it was just really you know I kept wanting to scrape it on something and it doesn't help but um, day two 10 um, the itching was almost gone and so I stopped taking the Zyrtec to count that was counteracting the itching um, so even with the Zyrtec the itching came back really strong so um, I've stopped you know I stopped the injections I, I've now stopped the Zyrtec um, Let's see, woke up with another headache. I didn't take anything that day. It wasn't a bad headache, just a little bit of a headache. The next day, day 11, another headache. And it's just that throbbing, kind of pulsing kind of headache. Um, Sunday, when I woke up on day 12 with a headache, I took a sumatriptan and that helped. Um, you know, and that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I didn't have, I've had hot flashes off and on. Um, but I didn't write them down as to when exactly I had them, but, um, you know, the, the rest of my hair came out. Oh, hair. That was one thing. Um, God, this wig itches so much and I did wash it this weekend. And so a little bit of the stiffness is gone, but it still itches around the edge where it, um, where it, it grips and then. It, on the top of the ears it digs in and hurts yeah, yeah like that <laughs> so 
I may really, I may go get another wig uh, because this one just actually hurts wearing it. Um, and I don't know how much longer I can take it. Um, especially I have to wear glasses and, you know, for reading and computer work. And so the glasses are always on top of my ears, which pushes the wig down onto my ears even more and really makes it hurt. Um, oh, but I was going to say chin hairs. I have been plagued by chin hairs since uh, my early 30s. And so I pluck them out every day. Every day I sit there with a magnifying mirror and I'm plucking you know, my, my closest reading glasses that I've got. And I'm plucking out chin hairs and I'm always grabbing skin and pulling at it and it looks awful. Um, I noticed that at one point I plucked out the chin hair and the next day there was no new chin hair and the next day there was no new chin hair. My chin has been so smooth. It is amazing. I haven't had a chin this smooth since I was in my 20s. I love it. Um, I also noticed that you know at one point I you know when nothing when my leg hair my underarm hair wasn't falling off uh, or falling out um, I finally you know it's like okay I have to wear a short sleeve short so I shaved and nothing new grew in so that could be the clue it's like you know and I shaved my legs one day when I was wearing shorts and nothing's grown back in so it might not be so much hair falling out as just no new hair growing in. Um, I mean, the hair on my head, yes, that fell out. We saw that. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's like all these others, you take out the hair and just nothing else comes back in to replace it. So that seems fine. Now the hair on my arm is still here. You know, my eyebrows are still here. Um, course they've been thinning for years but uh, I still have my eyelashes sometimes it feels like they're falling out but they're still there um, my pubic hair I still have it seems like it's thinned a little bit but it's still there I haven't gotten up to shave that yet um, I suppose if I do nothing will grow back but I just don't want to shave it uh, it's too hard um, so, you know, that, that's kind of a plus on hair. I mean, just to have the chin hair gone is like, wow, that's definitely a plus on the, a plus for the chemo. If, if there is a, such a thing as a plus for a chemo, but, um, yeah, so, you know, that's something the second chemo was not as bad as the first um i'm hoping <laughs> that the third will not be as bad as the second <laughs> um i don't know if it works that way but you know there's always a chance that you know i'll breeze through the third and fourth so we'll see what happens and I'll keep you posted. So um, subscribe. The link is down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.